Oh, now the fridge is making noise. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey, my name is Nadia, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back in Baba's kitchen, and what are we doing today? Preparing for Burek everything fill. All, all the fillings. All fillings for Burek. Yes. And we have four kinds. Four yeah. kinds. Four <laughs> kinds. The last time Baba and I made burek, we really focused on the cheese and meat fillings as well as how to prepare the dough, stretch it, and kind of just put the whole burek together. But there are a bunch of different fillings that you can put in, so today we're going to be really honing in on cheese and meat, like the step-by-step -step preparation for it, as well as potato and apple, which is the one sweet one that we're making. We have our burek table, we have our fancy tablecloth, we're going to go through these one by one, and we're actually preparing the fillings for tomorrow, which is when we're going to put the bureks together. Anything else you want to add? Then I add, I put in meat here and... No, I... What? I... Is there anything else you want to say or should we just get cooking? I start cooking. Now okay, this I is start... Baba's channel now. <laughs> I'm preparing, I'm preparing first meat. I have to fry meat. Okay, hold on, we have to get there. Okay. Okay. Okay, on that note, let's get cooking. Here you go, you're free. We're gonna start with the classic, which is cheese. So like I said in the last video, that's one of the fillings that we used. And that one we did 500 grams of feta and 500 grams of ricotta. So basically in one burek you're gonna have, is that a kilo? Kilo, yeah. Okay, so in one burek you're gonna have a kilo of filling. So you can obviously switch up those ratios a little bit. Here you said we have 750 grams of feta and 250 grams of ricotta. Yeah. Maybe maybe too much for one burek. Somebody make putting a little bit mm -hmm. less. Okay. No kilo. So it doesn't and, have to and be exact. I I'm making lots. I I like lots of cheese. I know it's it's and nice mix it mix it together. What and container are you using, Baba? This is when did you buy this? <laughs> scale. This is a scale. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. That's scale. So you know your measurements. That's for scale. Yeah, yeah. I measure. Okay, so very simple, feta, ricotta. Do you have a favorite kind of feta or ricotta that you like to use? Ricotta, feta, not feta for, for cow, just cow. Okay, for I like milk? It. I okay. like it, love cow milk. But honestly, I think whichever one you put in it, it tastes just as good. Yeah, that's cow milk. And I, somebody taking goat mm -hmm. and cheese and, and cow half and half and I, I prepared this. So that's it for the cheese. It's really just any feta or ricotta that you like and any ratio. Could you put only ricotta or only feta? You could, uh, no, no ricotta. You could put only feta, mm -hmm. uh, not too salty. So like rinse it or like? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, why, do you know why no ricotta? Dry out almost? Yeah, dry out and take. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understand. And cheese, very, uh, uh, melty okay. and ricotta keep together. Oh, okay. So that's it's kind right. of like the dry and the yes. wet. Okay, that yes. makes sense. That's okay, cool. Ricotta keep together. I learned something new as well. And if you wanted to make a cheese and spinach burek, which is probably in my top five of burek flavors, you would just add frozen or I guess thawed frozen spinach to this, right? Yeah. And you just mix it in and you just place it in the burek as you per usual. You could put fresh, fresh. Uh, Spinach? Spinach, you okay. could put frozen and you doesn't matter. Perfect. All right, cheese is done. And next up, we're going to focus on the apple filling. So now we have Baba's favorite, apples. So tell us about the apple filling, Baba. I, I clean apple first and uh, I put it in uh, the machine. To make it really like fun. And a little bit cut, not, not put all apples. I cut half and half okay. and I put it in the machine and I do it like that. And that's it. Wash, peel, core, slice, and then chop into really fine pieces. Just take skin off. Just take the skin off. And I that's take it. skin off. Okay. And the, and the core, obviously. Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. What yeah. I just said. No, no. So Baba actually did all this work a little while ago, and these apples were sitting in the freezer. So now they're thawed, and they have no seasoning on them. But we're gonna Nothing. add cinnamon, right? Yeah. Me putting that just cinnamon. You know, I don't put sugar. I put two spoon. 
like that. And that always really surprises me because when I like think that. like apples and cinnamon, I always think brown sugar, but there's no sugar in any of this and it's still super, super sweet, which is awesome. And no sugar, and you could put, now you mix it nice with, with uh, uh, cinnamon and put in the fr fridge, could stay for a week, mm -hmm. nothing wrong. And no water, no nothing, you put in the fridge, cinnamon take water all out from apple. And very, very nice and dry. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's that's like that. I okay, so it. that makes sense because it's never super runny in the budak. There's yes. also another ingredient yes. that we're going to add to the budak when we go to assemble it, but we're going to get there later. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay, we'll mix it better. Though. Mix it. Oh, I mix oh. it. You mix it, you. My aunt, very, very, you see, shaking, shaking. <laughs> you know, 83 years old, I that's, I have to tell you. Okay. It's like that. And this smells like, it just smells like fall. Yeah. It smells so and no warm sugar and nice. You like sugar, you put sugar in a dough. You don't like sugar, that's apple, very sweet. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you could eat this just like this. It's yeah, delicious. Yeah, you, you could keep it like that. Okay, perfect. Apples are done. What's next? So we have one kilo of potatoes here, washed, peeled, and quartered. So they're in kind of like these bite-sized pieces here. Now what? Now I have the I have special moy machine. I doing everything not, not this machine. And open. Okay. There's and a I, blade inside. Yeah, and blade inside and I put it like that. So you also did the onions in here earlier. Yeah. So I there's a little onions. bit of onions left in there, but that's okay. Okay now. I need to do okay. No. I'll hold the table. <laughs> oh, hold the table. Okay. I do it. Oh. New. That's it. All right. So you just see? chopping it up a little bit, a little finer. Look, just like that. Perfect. Again. Oh, the fridge stopped. Thank God. Mother stuck. Oh, I said. Jesus, how does this? Don't. <laughs> Are you on? Oh, remember when I would have a fever as a kid and you would put potatoes on my feet to get rid of the fever? Yeah, yeah. That's potatoes very very good for everything. I leaving potatoes for tomorrow. Right, because that's when we're making for the burek. tomorrow. Just preparing and tomorrow I'm making burek. Mm -hmm. And I put adding water. Okay. Hot or cold water? Cold. Okay. That's cold water. You keep it like that and Tomorrow, I preparing. I just strain, strain, strain the water. Strain water out, yeah. and add it onion, onion, okay. and salt and pepper, and that's it. And vegeta. This is gonna go in the fridge overnight in the water, and that's so it doesn't get brown, right? That's taking all all brown water, brown water, taking all. Um, Starch? Starch. Take all starch and potatoes don't go black. Okay, yeah. You could leave it for a couple of days in the fridge. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And make burek and bu uh, not go black. So if you were going to make this right away, you would just add the onions to the potatoes. Just salt, onions and potatoes. Salt, pepper. In. Yes. And that's it. That's but it. But because we're making it tomorrow, we're preparing yes, it. That's it's right. in water. And that way it's still going to look nice that's when right. we go to make it. Yes. Okay. So that's it for the potatoes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. We'll continue that one tomorrow. What is this? Well, it's meat, but what kind of meat? <laughs> beef. Beef? Okay. Yeah. One kilo again? One kilo. Ground beef. And maybe okay. that, that's too much for one burek, I know. And I make extra, and I make extra burek. Doesn't matter. It's a win-win. Yeah, that's... <laughs> And that's that's too much one kilo. So we have our meat and then we're gonna actually saute some onions. We're gonna move to the stove in a second. So there's two onions diced, but we used our machine again to do all of that. Um, we're gonna add the meat and cook it completely. We're also gonna be adding some salt, pepper, and vegeta, and that's really it for the meat, right Baba? That right. 
Okay, perfect. Nothing else. Well, let's move to the stove then. Yes. Okay, action, Baba. Go ahead. Action. Yeah, I I put the meat now together. I know fried too much onion. Just a little. You know that's onion very uh, very small, chop small, and be last the meat. Some people no no cook meat. I don't like it. Just just put it like that in a, in a burek. And I don't like it that. You cook it all the way through and then yes. even when you put it in the burek and you cook the burek, it's not dry because yeah. you have all the oil and stuff. Yeah. So not it's dry. really I think it's safer to just cook it all the way through yeah. like this. That's safe. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I making some people uh, no pudding, no tr no no fry meat for uh, cabbage roll, and I just I I don't like it that. And we all know you make the best sarma, so Yeah. Listen to Baba. Yeah, that's listen to Baba. I make one one time with meat and spinach. Oh, I didn't have that one. And I making burek with meat. I making with spinach. You know, mm -hmm. that's clear. And I have left. Spinach, I have left meat, and I put together. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, that's very, very excellent. Excellent. Excellent like that. Did you ever make it with lamb? No. Never? I no. love lamb. Do you think it would be good? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's too much dry. See, these have two bullocks. Yeah, two. easily. There's a lot of meat in there. Easy. That. Okay, now I adding... Pepper? Yeah, that's pepper. I don't like too much. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Be, be very hot. <laughs> oh, you have pepper that tasty. It is very tasty. No, yeah. It's very tasty. A little bit salt. A little bit more. <laughs> okay. Last and no least. <laughs> the most important. Yeah. That's spicy, that's Vegeta, called Vegeta, I don't know. Yeah. And that's tricky, very salty. It is, you're right. Yeah, you can't put too much. Okay. Okay. You can put too much, be salty. And this very, very good. Look at that. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. The meat is done, we're going to let it cool and then put it in a container and keep it in the fridge until tomorrow, which is when we're going to put all of these wonderful buraks together. Right? Right. Okay, go like this. Cover the camera, Baba. Hi, we back. <laughs> We come back. It's tomorrow, which means that we are finally making burak. So we prepared all the fillings yesterday. They're in the fridge ready to go. And we're not gonna be going into a whole lot of detail of how the buraks are actually made. I'll make sure to link the video somewhere here and down below in the description box as well if you wanna check it out. I'll do a really quick recap though, because in the first layer, we don't put any filling. You only put filling in the second and third layer. Could you put filling in the first layer of a burak if you wanted to? No. No, never? No, no, burek. Okay. First. No, no. Just plain and just put uh, margarine yeah. and uh, oil. oil. Okay. And spread it and cover it and make nice square and put it back. Okay. And make second one. And that's when you put and the And a filling. second one you put. So the first filling. one is really just the base, like the foundation. Yeah, yeah foundation. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to recap, we have the cheese filling, which is just a blend of ricotta and feta. You mix it together, you throw it into the burek. It's probably the fastest filling to make, I would say. That's right. It's That's really right. quick and easy. Then we have the apple burek, which Baba just added cinnamon to. It soaked up all the water, so when we went to go add it into the burek, it's not like we had these dripping wet apples. We also put in a special ingredient. Do you want to explain that? Cream of wheat, we put na first na dove and after put apple, and you like put sugar, that's put sugar. And I know put sugar, that's apple very, very sweet. That's a lie, because we actually did put sugar in one yeah, of the we, layers. we put a little bit of sugar, <laughs> we put a little bit of sugar. And you know after put sugar, I yeah. say. If you, you want, know, you just yeah. put white sugar. Have you ever put brown sugar? I feel like that would be really yummy. Yeah, that's, 
you could put brown sugar too, you okay. know, and that's so, no problem. Again, it's very much just whatever you want. If you don't want it to be too sweet, like Baba said, that's the apples right. are just sweet enough on their own. And let me tell you, when this budak bakes in the oven, it smells so good. It's delicious. I think out of all the budaks, that's the one that like, you really, you, it hits you, you know? <laughs> that's right. It's good. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> then we have the potato filling. So we let that sit in water overnight so that all the starch could come out and the potatoes themselves wouldn't brown. But the water itself was almost black the next day when we took it out of the container. Baba was very efficient. Efficiency just runs in my family, so I didn't get to take a really good shot of the black water, but it was kind of, like, kind of black and red almost, red, right? Almost red, it's very yeah. interesting to red, see. Red, like blood. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's red. <laughs> it is very red. But honestly, like you just rinse, you spill the water, you rinse the potatoes, and they're like brand new. It's like nothing yeah. ever happened to them, which is pretty cool. And you could put it in the fridge and stay a couple of days, two, three days. In the stay water? Na oh, okay. And just strain it in a little and then bit you're dry. Good to go. That's it. And salt, pepper, onion, uh, and that's it. Mix it all together. Mix it together and very good. And you also put a little bit and of a get fry, in them. Not fry. No, you don't have to cook the potatoes at no, all. No. And they come out tasting so good. And finally, we have the meat filling. So that was just onions, ground beef, salt, pepper, a little bit of vegeta. Sprinkle it in the burak once again, second and third layer, and you're good to go. Yeah. For the meat filling, it's obviously a little bit greasier, so you don't have to oil the burak as much as you do for the other ones. That's right. That's true. I'm getting it's all correct, everything <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I That's hope, yeah. <laughs> we made about a kilo of each of the fillings, but we did have a lot of extra. So you could probably get two budaks out of one kilo, or for the cheese, we really like to have a lot of cheese filling, so Not we true. used all of it. Not true. <laughs> but Baba, what did you do with the extra filling? I I have extra. Uh, I pull in dough mm -hmm. and I take it age. I take Red. age and I again fix it dough mm -hmm. and put it in the fridge and leave it for tomorrow and tomorrow I use extra uh, uh, filling yep. and extra dough and that's I have extra burek and pita. <laughs> that's the matter. It's perfect. Yeah. Bubba was very efficient and she actually went ahead and used the extra filling and the extra dough already and she made some pitas. So these are a little bit different than burak's. The technique is really the thing that I would say separates it. The filling and everything is the exact same, obviously, because we just reused it. So maybe we'll have to do a video where we show people how to make pitas. That's right. Do you want to do so, that one day? Someday. Someday. Okay, perfect. Yeah, one day. One day we make pita mm -hmm. and very, very good. All the budaks cook just about the same way. So in the oven they go in a greased pan at 350 roast. Takes about 45 minutes, but does it depend on what filling you have or is it usually always around 45 minutes? Yes, yeah, that's right. Always around 45? That's, yeah. Perfect. And then you take it out, you flip it onto your cutting board, and then you get to enjoy it. Burek. You, you know eat with fork and <laughs> with knife. All the time budaks eat with and like that. <laughs> so I have the meat filling and Baba has the apple. It's good? Apple, oh my goodness. Mmm, I could eat half burek. I know, me too. It's so good. Yeah. So good. I can smell the apple when I'm jealous. It smells so <laughs> yummy. <laughs> all right, Baba, did I miss anything? Did we get all the information no, in? No, you know, mix. Nothing, nothing mix. That's everything fine. And next time, we prepare much better. Even better than this? <laughs> much, much better. Perfect. All right, well, that is it from us, Baba. Thank you for teaching us all how to make filling, and we you, will obviously you have welcome. you back because everybody loves you. So Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we, well, I will see you next Friday, but Baba will see you soon. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> bye. I, I be ready. Okay. Okay, bye, everybody. <laughs> I say... Yeah, that's big tips. Does it keep you younger? Yeah. Okay, that's the trick. Not like this. But Baba went ahead and just used the extra dough. Yo, Baba. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this time. This is the good one.
I have one pound meat. No. <laughs> okay, did I miss every... You can chew, sorry. <laughs> I have one. Okay. What did you say? I go to the gym every day, but clearly I should just be doing okay. this. Whatever you want. Hey! 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 You have anything in your teeth? You have so much apple in your teeth. <laughs> and a short teeth. Not no, camera. Bye bye. You go up to the camera like this, Bubba. And then cover it. And then tomorrow we're gonna uncover it. Tomorrow. Oh boy. So. Okay. So you check out my small apple book, Liam. Yeah. Hi, we're back. It's okay, you can go. So, I'm going to go. 